Okay, now finally we're going to derive the um, electromechanical coupling coefficient. And that will be described, it uh, can be described as a converted energy over the input energy. It's always going to be less than 1. So let's quickly talk about how we can calculate it. First we set up our material system. We have a voltage attached to the system. Um, let's say a positive here and negative here. So we have an electric field going that way. So the material gets a little bit bigger. And the way we start to solve this problem is try to, you know, solve what is the input energy and what is the um, converted energy. So the input energy is electrical energy. So input and it is looks like the energy of a capacitor except this is the energy of a capacitor which is which has a dielectric permittivity of capital X of free stress there's no stress applied um, so then this is equal to the you know, the area we have the length which we're calling the thickness um, and the voltage is equal to the electric field times the length and then we square it because the top is squared and we end up with this formulation and similarly we can calculate the mechanical energy so we call it the converted energy um, mechanical is equal to one half k which is not the other k this is the spring constant k this I'm just doing all of these in very simple terms so you can uh, you know, easily understand uh, my approach. So we have k times the displacement squared. We want to get all of these in terms of actual material properties. So we know the spring constant, the effective spring constant of a material in a block material is like A over L times the compliance. And we have this multiplied by L squared. If we multiply the top and bottom equations by L, the top and bottom numerator and the denominator by L, we get this equation. We know that the strain is equal to the change in the length over the length. So noting that, and noting we have an L here, an L here, and an L, a delta L squared here, we can get this all into uh, strain squared and we can rewrite along with rewriting the rest of the equations and this L comes here like that so this is the energy that we we're looking for now what we need to do you know assemble them all together but before doing that we have to notice that also the strain is equal to the D times the E so this is basically d times e squared because we know the free strain can be predicted uh, like that so again k squared equal to uc over ui store the converted energy a l s e x squared but not x squared d e squared over one half e capital X a l e squared after canceling out these equations uh, we get a very you know nice expression describing the uh, elastic compliance and the permittivity uh, and this is the expression determining the uh, permittivity I mean determining the last the coupling coefficient uh, when we define it in terms of an applied electric field